This video is sponsored by Babbel. Hello everybody and welcome to my little Italian house here in Vivizano. And this week's episode, I'm so excited, is all about my flea market finds. If you've been following my Italian renovations over the past couple of years, you would have seen that I have discovered some pretty amazing flea markets dotted across this area here in Italy. And I've been able to collect them and put them in my house, which is so exciting. And many of you have asked like, how much were they? Where did I find them? Is there history around them? And so I'm gonna take you upstairs to the three rooms that are fully renovated and walk you through each of these flea market treasures that I found and let you know the price as well. And I personally feel that there's so much out there in the world that can be reused. And I would say that 97%, that's right, 97% of what you find in these three newly renovated rooms all come from flea market finds. So come on in. Bene a tutti. Nuotare fa bene a tutti. I'm absolutely thrilled to say that this week's video is sponsored by Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the entire world. And Babbel has massively helped me improve my speaking and my listening and understanding of Italian. In fact, when I first arrived here at my little Italian house, I didn't speak any Italian, but thanks to Babbel, I'm now at a B2 intermediate level. I can have conversations with my neighbors, I can head into the square, I can order my food, my Americanos, and it's really given me this massive boost of confidence. So if you're interested in learning a new language, maybe you're traveling to a foreign country this summer and you don't speak the language, um, do check out Babbel. It's so fun to be able to have these conversations. And again, it really fills me with huge confidence that I'm able to come to my house and speak the language as well. So do check out my link down below and get up to 60% off of your subscription with Babbel. It's one of the best things I've ever ever done. Plus, I do want to add, you know how we're always told to like, you know, work our sort of physical body, exercise, all of that. Learning a new language is like exercising your brain and we need to do that as well as exercising our physical body. So learning a new language is exactly, does exactly that. It helps to work this brain. And personally, I almost think of when you have a new language that you've learned, it's like having a degree in that language. I always think I've got two degrees my degree from university, and my degree in Italian. <laughs> At least that's what I think personally. But seriously, it's given me this huge boost of confidence. I know it would give you that as well. So do check out my special link down below to get up to 60% off of your subscription with Babbel and start learning a new language today. One of the best things I have ever, ever done. Welcome to the guest bedroom. Now, this is... Mm, Dare I say my favorite room? I'm not sure, but it's between this room and the primary bedroom. But we're gonna start here because I wanna introduce these amazing vintage hangers. I found these on Etsy. They are from the 1960s is what I've been told. And each of these hangers were about five pounds each. So maybe about $6.50 each. Fantastic find and I ended up getting four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go, perfect number and they work perfectly. So if you're here staying as a guest, you can hang up your clothes, your shirts, your dresses right there. So first and foremost, I think it's worth mentioning color scheme. You can see that the line of paint is a sage green. So there's two bedrooms in the house. I wanted one to be more masculine and one to be more feminine, and this is the masculine one. And then I'm just gonna move to the walls. And dotted all around the walls are these absolutely incredible old maps of Italy. And each of these maps, get this everybody, was one euro. Ding, 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 one euro. So we ended up buying in total five maps which work with the color scheme here. And then of course I went to my 
favorite uh, framer in Filetto and he was able to frame them. But how sensational are these maps? And then moving down, I'm just gonna take away the pillows here because again, what I found at these flea markets is astonishing. This is a headboard and there's a matching one over there. And once we cleaned it up, we decided to keep it as it is because the design is so beautiful. And each of these headboards, 45 euros each. So two headboards for 90 euros. All that needed to be done to them was they just needed to be cleaned up. And then before I move to the other side of the room, we have the two side uh, bedside tables here. And again, these were found in one of the local flea market uh, details down below. Uh, and they were painted. Uh, so Deborah just painted them. She's amazing at sort of refurbishing them. And each of these, 75 euros each, including the paint. So 150 euros in total. I hope you're doing the maths right now. I mean, not very much, right? To spend on furnishing and dressing this room. And then we have two amazing chairs. Again, found at a flea market near here. There's two that I go to. I've put the details down below. Found at a flea market here. Each of these chairs, 20 euros each. That's right. So 40 euros in total. And then we'll move over to this desk and of course this mirror. So I'll start with the mirror here. And this mirror I found on an online flea market site called Silenci. Do check it out, details down below. And this mirror is fantastic. It's vintage, it is, oh, I think it was about 100 years old and it's got a little bit of gilt around it as well. And I found this frame for, or this mirror for 90 euros. So this mirror was 90 euros. And then of course, I'm gonna to go to this desk. Again, found at Deborah and PG's amazing flea market. This desk, we had it painted the blue color to sort of contrast against the moss green. And this desk being painted in total was 150 euros. Then one of my favorite things to do is just to dress a room. And so I found this brass lamp. I think it's from the 1960s. Found that on Silenci as well. And this brass lamp was 45 euros. Incredible. And then just these little books. I went to the market in Bologna when I was visiting Jack, who's right there on the desk, and found incredible antique books. And each of these books were a euro. So one euro each for the books. And they, I had measured beforehand to make sure I got the right size. And again, I found this uh, at a flea market. The rest of what you're seeing here, I found um, at a flea market in London and brought them over. This is a letter holder. I'll put some postcards in there. This is just a trinket box. And I think that's lovely. So this to me, second bedroom is pretty much furnished with all vintage second hand finds. In fact, when I look around here, it's hard for me not to see anything that's not from a second hand uh, find, apart from, of course, the bed sheets, they're new, and well, the peg rail's new as well. But it goes to show you what you can find if you have a beady little eye and you're on a mission and you want to furnish your place with these exquisite and extraordinary finds. So let's go next door to the primary bedroom. So we're now heading to the primary bedroom, but before we head there, I just want to show you these wall sconces here and they are beautiful. I've always wanted a pair of these, but they were just too pricey at some of the high-end antiques markets. But again, found them at a flea market, 35 euros each. And when I had been looking at an antiques market, they were 150 each. So that is a real bargain there, 35 euros each. And now for my favorite room, the primary bedroom, because it's my bedroom. So come on in. Well, you know what I'm going to talk about first, and that is this magnificent wrought iron four poster bed. I found this on that online flea market site called Silenci, and it was shipped here. So the entire bed, uh, which was lovingly put together by myself and Nestor, who's behind the camera. Say hi, Nestor. 
Hello everyone. <laughs> We put this together, I still can't believe we did it. But this was a real find, but I was able to find a brilliant price for it and including the shipping around 800 euros. Absolutely incredible. And then I'm just gonna move to the bed here. So you can see the bed cover, again, found on Silenci. This is a bed cover that's been hand crocheted. I think it's exceptional. And that brings me to really the color scheme here. So as I mentioned before, the guest bedroom is more masculine and I wanted to make this bedroom my bedroom and of course my husband's bedroom a little bit more feminine. So the painted wall that you see there is a rose lilac color and again it gives that sort of feminine touch to it and that's what brings me to all around the botanical prints that you see dotted all around the room. Those were all found here in Fivizano at the antiques market. Now these are really really special and I brought them to the same framer in Filetto uh, and we decided to put this lovely color of um, almost like a sage green around uh, each of these botanical prints and in total for six of them it was 150 euros. Now that might sound like a lot but if you divide that by six you're looking at 25 euros. Then if I move over to the desk we have this extraordinary Venetian mirror and I just think it's lovely and it's decorative. Again, found that on Silenci on the online marketplace. Venetian mirrors cost a fortune when you go to sort of those antiques uh, markets that, uh, well, high end. This on the online flea market was 95 euros. And then just moving down here, we have a desk and the desk was found at the flea market that I keep talking about all the time, details down below where PG and Deborah are, and they did an outstanding job of painting this and just making it this its distressed look. There are a pair of chairs in here as well, again, found at the uh, Deborah and PG's flea market near Sarzana. Each of these chairs were 40 euros each, so 80 in total. They're beautiful, beautiful chairs. And again, around the right color schemes, you can see I'm bringing in a little bit of a soft gray. And I do want to point out, because I'm on a roll with, of course, Deborah and PG's flea market, point out these Murano glass lamps that I found. And each of these glass lamps were 75 euros each, which is actually a real bargain when you think of it, an absolutely real bargain. And before I get onto something really quite unique that I found in London, I'm just gonna have Nestor point the camera up and fantastic chandelier here that was again found at Deborah and PG's and that was 90 euros, everybody. 90 euros, I can't believe it. So two more things, and then hopefully you're doing the maths here, and you can see that this entire room is pretty much, in fact, when I look around, apart from the lampshades and the frames, is all been found um, through flea markets. This, though, I did bring from London, and I, again, it's got that wonderful color scheme, a little bit of the red and the green in there, and it's a jewelry box slash sort of mirror so I can just put my lipstick on or whatever it may be but I just think it was absolutely beautiful and a real find there hand painted 15 pounds. Last thing I want to point out are of course my four children because Nestor's behind the camera and these two frames right here these are French glass frames that Malcolm and I found a near Mapperton. We found these and these were each uh, 20 pounds. They're beautiful glass frames. Now, where can you find a frame this beautiful for 20 pounds? Nearly impossible. So as you can see, this room is, gosh, when I look around, pretty much all decorated and dressed by everything that I have found at these vintage flea markets and the online ones as well. So let's go to one more room that's been completely renovated. And I think some of you might remember the big find that's in this room. And last, but certainly not least, 
is behind this door. My first renovation that I did, which was the bathroom. And as we're about to enter, have a little look at the wonderful Turkish carpet found down below. And I loved this carpet that I found on Salenci because it brings out the painted wall color of all of the rooms that you've just seen. So from the primary bedroom to the guest bedroom to even the hallway here, the gray, it's bringing out those colors in the carpet. So enter now into the bathroom. My first renovation and probably the hardest but most exciting. When I arrived here uh, to view my house after the pandemic, um, I thought the first thing that needed to be done was this bathroom. So do check out that video because we've expanded this bathroom, we've added in a shower, but that's not what this video is about. It's about my flea market finds and the definitely the star of the bathroom show is this fantastic cast iron bath. Now I found this off the side of a road. It is all rusted, but I loved that look. And that's why I chose then the ochre color in here to really complement this rust color that I know many of you said below you weren't sure about it, but I think a lot of you do really like it. We were able to send it to Florence, put a clear coat on it, and then on the inside, re-enamel it. It's a wonderful cast iron bath with beautiful claw feet. And these bathtubs are incredibly expensive, but I was able to purchase this and have the entire inside re-enameled for 1300 euros. Now I know that that sounds like a lot, but if you do research on cast iron baths, they're usually three to four times that amount. And the American in me has a little bit of British now that I've married a Brit and I do love a good bath. So then just to see the other side of the bath, I found this magazine rack. So wonderful magazine rack kind of complements the rust bathtub here. And this was a rock bottom price of 10 euros. Again, found that at one of the flea markets around here, as well as this table, which I can set my candles and my sort of bath gels. And again, this, this I found this table though. I think I found the table. Did you? Yeah, I think it was 10, 10 euros. 10 euros at the Fivizano Antiques Market. Yeah. Nestor found this table. It's brilliant. It's absolutely well done, Nestor, for reminding me in particular. And I found these wonderful little doilies uh, at the antiques, uh, Fivizano Antiques Market, and they were literally like 50 p each. Do you remember me finding those, Nestor? Yeah. 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 Perfect. And then before we head across the room, we're just going to look up. I clearly need to change the light bulb in one of them, but this was a fantastic find. This was found by Malcolm when we went flea market shopping one day. Uh, and found it for around 15 euros, but I clearly need to change the light bulb. Then let's switch around over here to just a couple more items. This fantastic vanity was found again at PG and Deborah's place near Sarzana. Uh, she restored it, painted it, gave it that distressed look, and then they placed this piece of marble on top of it, cut the marble, and so this is Carrara marble. It's brilliant, it's everywhere, and it's very inexpensive here in Italy. And then looking up above here, again, going with sort of this brass um, theme, if you like, we've got two wall lights and the glass um, balls on top. These glass balls I found and cleaned them. They were a euro each, and the base is here were five euros each, incredible. So that wool light right there in total was six euros. I mean, what a bargain. This lovely, lovely mirror, again, was found at a flea market near here, and it's Murano glass. So all around here is beautiful Murano glass that's been etched in absolutely stunning, stunning mirror. A Little bit pricey, this one. This one was over 100 euros, but well worth it. And yeah, this is the bathroom. I love it, love it, love it. I'm so happy I did this bathroom first because then it just made everything easier and I was able to somewhat move in here, if you like, when I visited once the bathroom was done. But I think everything needs to have a story. And for me, that's really, really important. So when I go around 
all these different rooms that I've renovated. I remember, oh, I found it at that flea market. I remember negotiating the price for that mirror. Oh, I went around Fivizano and I was, you know, trying to find the best door knockers. Yes, Nestor found that table there. This was found off the side of the road. Malcolm found that lovely ceiling light. So in every room, I'm able to tell a story and really uh, uh, remind myself and others of the effort that went into finding these unique pieces and also the love around them. So hope you have enjoyed my flea market finds. Be sure to let me know down below any finds that you have found that have been like a real, real deal. Do let me know in comments down below and be sure to check out Babbel. You'll get up to 60% off of your subscription with Babbel. Again, details down below. Bye everybody.